Right, we're gonna have a go at some key pee up bits. All right, and we'll build it up through levels. So the year ones, twos, threes, fours, fives and sixes can all have a go and they all succeed. So we'll just show you the different levels. So you can start with the ball in your hands, okay? But as the children get more advanced, they, have, they like to try and flick it up. And, all right, and start off. So you can have it in your hands, or you can even practice just flicking it up. Okay, because we know when we're playing football, we shouldn't have the ball in our hands. But for this drill, we're going to pick it up just to start with. And our, after, the, after the flick up drill, okay, we're going to get into our key pee uppies. And we normally start off with just doing singles. So one, catch, one, catch, one, catch, one, and just keep going like that. And if your ball goes flying enough, that's fine. Just go and get it and carry on. Be careful if you're inside. Maybe if you're inside, you might want one of these footballs or one of these. They're a bit softer so you're not damaging the ornaments in your house. Then the second drill is that we bounce it, kick it, catch it. Bounce it, kick it, catch it. Bounce, kick, catch. Bounce, kick, catch. If you're really good at those, you can have a go with an opposite leg. You can see I'm not as comfortable with that one. Bounce it, kick it, catch it. So that we'll call that level two. We'll move on to level three. Have a good practice at level two, it'll help you. And that's, we're gonna have a lot continuous now, but with a bouncing. So, bounce it, kick it, bounce it, kick it. You'll also notice that I like to have the ball spinning backwards a little bit. It just helps control the ball. And I don't kick it too high. And I try not to use my toe end, but I try to use where my laces would be. So the top bit of my foot, so I can get round the ball and spin it back. And you can practice this one for quite a while. Well done. So that's level three. And then we have a go at level four, which are our pupils really like doing. And that's full key pupils. And I like them to count how many they can do so that when they get a new record, they're always really excited. Okay, so I might have a go. See if I can do 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, eight. Okay. Not bad, so I'll have to have a keep going at my record and keep going for my record. Let's see if I can get 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, and I've kicked it away again. Okay, so I've got a record of 10. Right, when you've had a go at your record and try and beat your record again and again and again, then we've got another game that we like to play. And we just go up. So we do one, and then we do two, and then we do three, and then we do four, and then we do five, and then we do six, and then we do seven, and, and so on, and see how far we can get. And there's two ways you can do it. You can do it with the bounce, or you can do it without the bounce. It's up to you. So with the bounce, it's one, and then catch it, and then one, two, catch it, and then one, two, three, catch it, one, two, three, four, catch it, one, two, three, four, five, and then keep going, keep going, see how many you can do. And the harder way is to do it without any bounces. So one, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, two. Oh, I got to three. And then I have to start again. So one, one, two. 
And then keep going and see how far you can get. You'll notice that I use other body parts like my knees and anything really just to keep the ball under control. Not my arms, but anything else is legal. So we can use our shoulders, we can use our heads, anywhere on our chest, our knees. So good luck, see how far you can get. <laughs> 